we have the nerves that tend to accompany something significant happening. Let me see if I can't uh, introduce this video by adding uh, a little bit of context uh, for it. We've owned this land since uh, 2016 uh, and we've always uh, had the intention of building a house on it. We always had it in mind uh, to build something that was much smaller, uh, much more uh, directly um, related to our particular needs. Uh, it was more sustainable. It was better for the land in terms of maintaining the you know, biodiversity value of the land and um, working, you know, being situated in, an, in its environment a bit better. Um, we also wanted it to be really efficient, both in the, the, the process of building it and, and then also being able so to... We haven't, um, we haven't abandoned this project uh, to build a house. We certainly do want to build a house, uh, but we don't want to be rushed into a decision that ultimately turns out to be the wrong one or to be doing that in a very high sort of inflationary environment. The stopgap seems to be this caravan that gives us the, the breathing space and the time to just think about the build a little bit more. Of course, having a caravan on site introduces uh, another set of problems in terms of plannings and approvals and whatever else you need to be mindful of if you're proposing to do something like this. Okay, so we're just about to switch power on at the farm for the first time to power up this caravan. It's, uh, we've just had to do some makeshift uh, modification, shall we say, to the actual extension cord, which doesn't, I don't feel great about, but uh, let's see how we go. Pearly. Now's not the time. Okay. So mains. Okay. Any flames? Pardon? Do I try light switch? I guess. Yes. Hmm. Ah, uh, there might be mains switches up here or something. What's that middle one that's black? Don't know. Okay. Uh, Righto, here we are. Night one in the caravan. First night's dinner. A block of butter. Guacamole. Cheese and biscuits. A French stick. Bottle of red. And uh, that'll about do us, I think. It might be a half eaten cherry ripe we can share. What are your honest thoughts? It's dated. It's dated. Um, but it's a bed. It's shelter. It's a stopgap and it means we don't have to rush into making decisions about building. stayed our first night in that caravan. It was so cold. Oh my goodness, Pearly. You must be so cold. You must be so cold. You're not cold to the touch. You okay, Mum? You okay, Chuck? Oh, very cold. But perfect conditions to have a fire. So that's what we'll do. You okay? Okay. 
so it's quarter to eight and minus four I get that as so I expect it was colder than that during the night we all need a coffee mum you need a coffee surely it's I think it's gone 8.30 now and it still feels almost colder now than it was when I woke up that big bird of prey there Yeah, poor old car's frozen. So it's just coming up to 20 to 3. We've uh, doesn't look like it, but we have made pretty good progress with our burning off today. We keep the fire pretty small, obviously. Some people say that we should just literally put a match under each of those, uh, those big piles there, but it's not something we feel comfortable doing. We have neither the water supply here to manage it if one of those piles should get out of control nor really do we have the skill so this is a sort of fire size that we feel comfortable with it means it's much slower but i don't know we're getting there i think uh yeah so we're not going to stay a second night uh we're just uh, underprepared. Um, it was just too cold. I think conditions in that caravan were sub-zero. Um, and dunas and blankets, whatever, uh, didn't really help the situation. So I think there's stuff that we can, we can do to be better prepared um, to combat the cold. I feel a bit silly not knowing that it would be as cold as it as it was but um you know we've never stayed here um midwinter so um I, I guess in a sense and we don't normally arrive here that early um maybe once or twice we have but um yeah i'm certainly i've never been here when it's minus four so, there's those little red birds. Don't know what they were. Little straggler there. Yeah, so that was a learning experience for us. And um, I think there's, there's things that we can do to be more comfortable. Um, in well, those we only have a couple of months now, maybe even less, maybe a month or so of, of this very cool weather, I, I, I would think. Uh, and then actually the, the converse will be true. We'll be heading into the warmer weather and, and the heat will be the issue. Um, but anyway, we'll work that out. This bird of prey, I don't know 
exactly what it is, but uh, Mark will know. It's very interested in us and what we're doing around the fire. We've actually got a bit of meat that we've put on a rock and it seems to have circled the rock a couple of times but um, I mean, it would be amazing if it landed. I expect it won't but I guess if you were here very often maybe just maybe you could uh, you could train it to come in and take some food which I think Mark would very much like. So this is the caravan in uh, in daylight and uh, it's still uh, very much disorganized and uh, unpacked and uncleaned but this gives you an idea of sort of what we're working with uh, so kitchen area which is pretty good lots lots of cupboards storage space bench space uh, lots of windows this is looking east house site there a gas stove and uh, four gas burners I'm not inclined to use that uh, but rather to, to take it out so so a gas instant hot water system um, apparently it's working uh, but I'm not sure uh, so lots of storage space above uh, the exhaust is working vents uh, a new fridge or what appears to be a new fridge, which has recently been tested. So that's good. Um, most of the fly screens and windows are all intact and just need a bit of a clean, but uh, mostly okay. I haven't even opened the fridge. Yeah, so the fridge looks pretty good. We haven't switched it on, but it uh, should be okay. And so you've got a bench seat here. This is a what, 35 year old caravan. It's quite amazing actually that uh, the fabric isn't torn and in worse condition than it is. Uh, so table here and then that, that uh, those two sections join, I think using the table somehow to create a second bed if that's, if that's required. Um, more storage up here and here. So lots of storage crammed in. Um, just looking out to the south. Big trees just behind us. Probably can't see that. One of the main reasons that I bought this was the fact that I could easily, I'm just under six foot one, uh, I can easily stand up in it and it's very light and, and airy by virtue of this uh, this sort of rise here in the ceiling um, and I was actually reading it's quite good this is an aluminium framed caravan it's quite good because that means that the roof is on a slope and it means that water is not sitting on the roof so as to whether this leaks I'm told that it doesn't but time will tell um, I'd be pretty surprised if it didn't have any leaks but there you go it doesn't certainly doesn't smell like it's got mold or there's no sort of visible signs of leaking but again uh, I don't know so I really like the, the skylight there and uh, that would be east so at the front door house site there sheep down to the Yandoi Creek which is running which is great um, and then a little bedroom area, so a double bed and a uh, window, more storage, another vent, more cupboards, TV stand and a an aerial actually. There is a toilet and a shower through there. We won't use that, uh, certainly for yeah. now. I mean, just having 
power points, some lights, uh, and of course a bed. Being here much, much easier. Um, uh, this caravan was uh, $10,000, uh, $10,000 Australian, including having it delivered to us in it. It was uh, transported about three and a half hours uh, away from here. So, um, so it was transported here on dealer plates, but look, it is what it is. And if it doesn't work for us, um, I'll just sell it on, I guess. Good girl. You gonna come and sleep in the bed? Be a woolly blanket. What? The life of trailer park people. We're living it. What? I've got jobs to do. Yep, I've got jobs to do. You can't. <laughs>